Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 29th of June 2019. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Celestial Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. And what energy you'll be working with. got the Empress in reverse, we have Cardinal Earth, the King of Pentacles, and we have Mutable Water, the Prince of Cups. The Empress is the mother. It's Venus, love, beauty, taking care of others, nurturing. And when the spirit of Venus points down to planet Earth, oh, I love the way they've done this, that's when you're able to create beauty in the physical realm. So Venus rules Taurus and Libra in astrology. So when Venus points downward at our dimension, our reality, it creates a, an atmosphere, a physical environment that is absolutely beautiful and expresses the energy of love and Aphrodite. And we've got the tree of life underneath, and that's the best way to build your life based on love. When you're in Libra and you point up to the heavens, then you are the embodiment of Venus and love on planet Earth because you're charming and you're able to connect with people from all different backgrounds you don't judge, you're not hateful, you're filled with love, you give everyone the same opportunity, and that raises your vibration to be in contact with love through your fellow man, and then you connect with the higher realms of love, and you cleanse away any negativity, and when that goes in a circle, you can really create a beautiful life that works naturally by doing your best to create loving things. You then manifest beautiful loving things in your life, which motivates you to be even more loving. So it gets better and better and better and better. That's in reverse today. So Venus is the third card of the major arcana. Three is new beginnings and it's communication. Because it's in reverse, the opposite of Venus, the female principle, is Mars. And Mars is the soldier. Mars is the warrior. Mars is a general, someone with a sword who decides what goes. So the communication isn't about creating love and beauty. It's about fighting the negative and the things that you feel take away from the life that you deserve. So there's a sense of entitlement here. There's a sense of anger. There's a sense of, I want to clear some things up before I move on because I want to shape my life the way I want it to be. I am utterly confident in my convictions and nothing and no one is going to stand in my way. We can see that a little bit in the King of Pentacles, who is who has Capricorn at his feet, very well hidden because it's in the red here. Do you see the goat with the fishtail? And Capricorn is the sign of the worker. It's an earth sign and it's ruled by Saturn, the planet of stability and structure. And he looks like he has been on this throne for a while. He is holding the pentacle, earth. In astrology, we have modes, cardinal, fixed and mutable. Cardinal is about beginning and being a leader. Fixed is about keeping things as they are. So Taurus, for instance. 
and mutable is being flexible. Capricorn is cardinal earth. It's about, I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to work on it and see it through. The triangle is pointing downwards. So this is a spiritual king of pentacles. This is the spiritual idea of what I can think of and what I can apply to planet earth. And when I apply all of these principles, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to start my own business, my own success. I'm going to create a throne, a business, an institution, something for me to sit on and a place where I can rule from. I'm going to do a lot of good work. The stars are sparkling around me. I'm making the world a better place. I'm taking it very seriously. I'm here for a while. I'm consistent. I take it seriously. And I'm trying to add value to the world. And that's why money is a side effect. The King of Pentacles doesn't work just for the cash. He works because that's his natural state of being. And he works at something that he's passionate about. And this is the the idea of the King of Pentacles. And this triangle connects him with the earth. So we've got a masculine energy, cardinal, the first, number one, the boss. Earth, working with the planet. And we've got the empress in reverse, so we've got Mars. So we've got someone who's ambitious and driven and has a male principle associated with him. Mars also rules the sign of Aries, which is the ram, which gets things out of the way. And then combined with Capricorn, Aries is tempered in a bit, in a way. Because Mars and Aries says, I want, I'm going to get what I want. I am not considerate of other people's feelings. I don't care what you think. If I want it, that makes it right. And Capricorn understands that, yes, you can be passionate about things and you can want to create, but that you need to, at times, compromise. You need to work with other people. You can't create an empire by working by yourself. You may lead that empire, but you need to work with other people. So that sense of, I am the expert, I work alone, and I am the person with the vision, and I'm going to create everything is kind of channeled into a more productive energy that says, yes, fine, I have a vision, but you're going to need the help of other people to create that. So cool your heels, make personal sacrifices to allow other people's opinions in so that you can really build something that's meaningful. Mutable water. Mutable is flexible, adaptable. Water is about feelings. Again, that's pointing down to planet Earth. We've got Neptune there, the planet of imagination and intuition. And the Prince of Cups, he's receiving this loving, beautiful, watery energy from the moon. So he's being nurtured and taken care of. There's joy all around him. By working hard... And softening the approach, the Prince of Cups, also Pisces, is self-sacrificing. It's being incredibly considerate. That energy fuels the King of Pentacles as well today. Both triangles point downwards. And that's the best way to achieve. So at the center of the reading, we have the King of Pentacles. The main point is to set a goal, to be productive, to ground yourself, and to get something done. The Empress is in reverse, so there's a lack of love. And that is not helpful. That can really give you too much confidence, make you somewhat aggressive, and it gives you a big head. That influences the King of Pentacles 
and is absorbed by Capricorn, which enables it to still work, but it makes it a little bit aggressive. The Prince of Cups is a positive influence, which negates the Empress in reverse somewhat, because the Prince of Cups adds compassion and love and self-sacrifice to the King of Pentacles. So he does take other people's feelings into consideration. He does care. However, the Prince of Cups is a court card, and he's just learning how to deal with emotions and spirituality, whereas the Empress in reverse is a major arcana card, and she has a lot more fundamental energy than the Prince of Cups does. So it's a great day to be productive and to work hard and to tweak your work and to make money and to do very well. But just be careful that you don't become too big for your own boots, that you don't become too confident, too aggressive, too dismissive of other people's ideas, and that you make sure that you still try and keep people on board, that you praise people, that you check yourself once in a while, that you ask yourself, if someone spoke to me this way, how would I feel? And to try and collaborate with people in a way that's helpful and that's nurturing, because then you're going to be able to realize your hopes and dreams. Spiritually, everything comes from the higher realms today. So you're going to feel this natural kind of trickling, this shower of energy, which is urging you to be productive. If you have Saturday off, you may want to stay put and do the garden. If you have Saturday off, you may want to uh, tidy up and get things organized. It's this kind of energy. You may want to go to a boot, uh, a car boot sale and make the most of your free time. So instead, ask yourself, what's going to make me happiest? The answer is very likely to be what will make me happiest today is if I'm productive and I make extra money and I work at something. But nurture yourself and take care of yourself by doing something that you enjoy. And if you are going to work and be productive, then do it in a way that pleases you and adds some excitement to your life. Number wise, we've got court cards, two court cards, and each one is worth one in numerology. So one and one is two, and three is five. Five is about freedom, and we've had freedom a lot lately. So this is a time of really being free and having choices. Here you can create financial freedom again on this day by creating something new, a new business, doing something temporary like a car boot sale, connecting with other people to look at how you can be of service to nurture. That could be an idea that when channeled into Capricorn, allows you a whole new vision and understanding of how to turn Venus, the Empress, around and how to help people to connect with the energy of love, to help them see how they can manifest a beautiful life and how they can connect with this Venus energy by loving themselves, loving other people, and reaching out to Aphrodite in spirit, so to speak. And those are just two or three ideas that you may have, but you'll feel the King of Pentacles strongly with you, and he's the most powerful energy that's there, and that's a good one to rely on, because if you get aggressive or angry, channel that into work, and if you feel overly emotional or unsettled, ch channel that into work as well. That is your grounding today. And that's the thing that's going to make you feel most stable and happiest. 
Have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Have a wonderful Saturday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.